<laughs> Welcome to the budget review 2009. Justin, Michael Simpson, and Joshua Wilson. Wilson, and Ori Wilson. TW. <clears throat> The Australian federal budget of 2009-2010 was seen as a budget for nation building for recovery. Due to the current economic environment, the, the government's main focus was to boost economic growth and also to keep unemployment to a sustainable level after the budget's deficit turnaround. Previously, we had a $22 billion surplus and our Labor government has turned it into a deficit of $57.6 billion! Oh my god! Yeah! Ah! Let's start off with infrastructure. What are your thoughts on that, Josh? My thoughts on infrastructure? You know what, Ori? $22 billion on infrastructure is... It seems like a lot to me. I think it's alright. Josh, gonna have to cut you off there. $22 billion, a lot of money, but it will create jobs. Yes. Which is what we need in this climate. And will stimulate... Do you think... Do you money. think we're going to be able to recoup those losses, but my... Well, it does depend. To I time, mean, time will tell. Yeah. Tax cuts and everything. It I, does I just... seem that it could stimulate the economy. And it will protect our building industry that was decimated during the last recession. But do you really think $8.5 billion on transport is really necessary? <laughs> well, guys, the Rod government has finally listened to the pleas coming from pensioners. <laughs> the old people. That is true, Justin. There's uh, an increase of around, I think, about thirty dollars per week for combined pensions, yes, that is and about ten dollars fourteen per week for couples. Come on! Couples. Do yes, old people it. need this money? Yes, to save money is what the government. Old needs. people need money to save money. Yes, all right, great. No, no but due to the, like the actual. Baby booming, you to baby booming era. You know how like there was more, a lot more pensioners around these days. So that's why the government's introduced a two-year age increase for the pension. It. What do you think about that, boys? I think it's a good way to cope with this aging, aging population. That's personally. true. Increase the financial security in Australia. That's it. Good Got stuff. nothing. Good stuff. We're gonna Come run, on. you guys. To has anyone been on a city rail train? I'm pretty sure all of us would have been. You know, the quite disgusting poor, state poor. of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just having some technical difficulties. <laughs> However, I am quite, Back quite guys. interested to see how this increase on internet speed with this new network, which the government has gone halvesies with the private sector, <laughs> Unknown, unknown name yet. Forty-three billion dollars spent on that. Hey, we'll be able to beat those Koreans at those video games. And think about the e-commerce we could, we could do. I think it's going to be great. No lag. Okay. Um, what you got? No thoughts on that, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like uh, the internet. Yeah, got nothing. It's good. Back, back, chat. Creep on. We're going to have to edit that. Uh, capture. One of the Rudd government's major focuses has been the education revolution in Australia in an attempt to significantly increase the quality of Australian schools. Do we really need it, Justin? I think we do. I think the quality of our education is in the as it should be. Look around us. TVs, everyone. Maps of South America. But do these TVs all work? That is the question. They do. They do. Is that map faded? No, it isn't. I can clearly see every single state. Okay. Well, the government is using across the board spending on education. They're focusing on universities and specialist institutions. The school. Yeah. yeah. School. That, oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, that will create 50,000 new places in universities by 2013. Which is always good for us. I know most of us, probably all of us, would want to go to university. So. Always makes it easier for us Mommy. to Love. get a degree. You guys, know. You want to you go guys to are in there. And they've uncapped universities, which will make 50,000 new places in each in By each 2020. University. No. 2013. Can't make history work. Okay. The Rudd government believes there is a strong lead between long-term prosperity and growth and education. Yes, 
Okay, now the tax and fiscal policy in the budget. There's been numerous tax cuts and breaks for higher income earners, but there has been a decline, or there's actually no tax income breaks for low income earners. Boys, do you think this is going against the Labor Party, as they are all for working class Australians? You know, I was actually pretty disappointed when I read the news about the tax cuts. Captain Ryan hyped this all about in the election. I mean, come on. He, what is he delivering? Nothing. All talk, my friends, all talk. Lori? Well, I believe it's all right. He's giving tax breaks to small businesses, which will enable them to employ more of our lower income earners. That is true, but do you think that'll pass on towards the disposable income of our lower income earners? Yes. Yes? Do you want to back that up or you can take it? Welcome back, Mike. And thanks Thank for you. joining us on our economics class budget. And your budget. All right. A major concern for the Rudd government this year has been the rising unemployment rate. It is expected to be at 8.5% by 2011. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've looked at these figures and they look pretty steady to me, Mike. Mate. <laughs> Mate. Well, that doesn't explain why, what is going to happen to the Australian economy when everyone is unemployed. I don't think that will ever happen. Why? Because there will always why? be jobs out there. No, this is fairly high unemployment rate, as you can see. Was that the highest? But it's just a prediction. Highest in possibly a decade. We, you know that's going to happen though, because there is that lag period between when it, the economy will actually downturn and when the retrenchments will actually happen. So we can possibly expect it to occur. So it has showed that Australia has taken a soft, softer blow to our unemployment than to our other major. Economy. Exactly. High five. I still have my job. And with Australia's $22 billion investment in infrastructure, you can bet your bottom dollar that there will be an increase in employment with these infrastructure investments. Fair shake of the sauce, Mike. <laughs> Fair shake. Okay, inflation. <laughs> inflation in the budget, not really. Yes, it wasn't a major Beach concern this year. This was expected to hit about 1.25 percent. So there's not really a need for the budget to, uh, for the government to focus Inflation. on it in the budget. Got nothing. <laughs> Fair shake of the sauce, Will. And just for all those viewers that don't know, when the unemployment rate rises, inflation drops. So that won't be a concern over the next few years. That's true, Ori. Thanks. Keep it on. And an estimated 43 billion provided. Um, oh, what? No! Are you going to bring in unemployment? Yeah, or can can show 8.5. Yes, by 2011. Okay, ready? Okay, in conclusion, the Australian economic conditions seem to be suited to come out of the recession in a stronger position than what it entered. Now that's due to probably a number of factors. Our geographic isolation, um, also one of our presenters undressing himself currently and possibly the strong tag stuff from their ones and like cut this as well yeah yeah of course all right three two one starting the australian federal budget of 2009-2010 was seen as a budget you're not on the screen mate <laughs> <laughs> look at the other photo <laughs> 